And Walla, congratulations. Um, what does it mean for you to, to sign with your hometown team? It's an unbelievable moment, you know. I never thought I would actually be a pro from where I come from, but um, I remember uh, going to Osano's game for the first time. I was like, wow, this is incredible. The atmosphere, like, it's something that I've never seen before. And uh, being able to sign as a homegrown, it's like, wow. It's, it's really like, I can't, I can't even believe it, really. What is the best part about Hanwala Bawana's game? Uh, I'm a type of player where, you know, the fans, you know, just get out of their seat and because I bring something that I think, in my opinion, a lot of guys on the team don't have, you know. I'm, I'm a more of like entertainer, you know, I create a lot and I can play multiple positions. When I was at UW, you know, the coach tried um, to make sure I emulate Ladero and go around, you know, run around, try to get the ball as much as he could and create, you know. And Wall is a guy who uh, can put uh, defenses on the uh, off balance. I think he's he's proven it. Uh, University of Washington, um, obviously with our academy, he can score goals. Um, he creates chances for himself, and he's great at uh, at running at guys with the ball. I think Henwala has some similarities to Kalen Carr, who played at Houston, was in a few championship games. He, he doesn't have the same speed, but he's very opportunistic in the box. So he, he gets in the positions, and if the ball's coming, he finds out where the ball's going to be. And that's a sense that, you know, a lot of times people are born with that. They just kind of know where it's going to fall, and Henwala has some of that. How do you think you can contribute to this team? You know, I just want to help the team as much as I could, and at the same time, you know, I'm, I'm really young, you know, I want to develop and um, try to be the best and reach my full potential. Third UW guy in the team joining Christian Roldan and Henry Wingo. Uh, what is your relationship like with those guys? Uh, I played with Wingo for a year, you know, um, amazing teammate, you know, amazing guy, you know, we, he, when I came in my freshman year, he helped me a lot and told me like what I need to do in order to help the team, and then Christian, you know, he's always around UW, you know, I met him through there and then when I was here over the summer training with the first team a lot, you know, I met him through there, he's an amazing guy. Uh, what was it like growing up in Kenya? Uh, I mean, it's a, it wasn't a life, uh, I mean, <laughs> it was more about surviving really, I mean, um, used to walk a lot, six miles to get water, you know, but it was all like, you know, it's a life situation and then I just had to deal with it, you know, it wasn't, it was, it wasn't very fun, but it was just life, normal life. What was the soccer culture like there? <laughs> uh, I mean, we didn't have soccer balls. We didn't have no shoes, so we used to uh, used to make a garbage ball. You know, you know, we used to go to the garbage cans. You know, try to make as much soccer balls as I could and play with you know bare feet until my, my feet used to bled. You know, yeah, it wasn't really big. I mean, the, we love soccer just because you know it's uh, it makes you forget about things. You don't have to worry about life. You know, just no stress at all. How did your experience growing up in Kenya help shape you as a player and, as a, and also as a person? As a person, it just it made me, you know, be grateful for what I have and um, made me realize that, you know, any kid over there could, you know, kill each other for this opportunity and um, just makes me want to work harder and make the most of it. And uh, as a soccer player, you know, just being able to, to play with a garbage ball every time, you know, and um, it made me he made me a different play, he made me you know, be better on, like, you know, with my feet and stuff. You were in Atlanta first when you first yeah. came here, right? What was, what was that transition like from Kenya to, to Georgia? I thought, you know, I'm heaven right now, I'm in heaven. And uh, because, you know, everything was close to your water right there, you know, amazing nutrition, you know, I mean, I remember, you know, my first year in, uh, in America is my body grew suddenly so quickly because I've never had that, you know, kind of nutrition, but it was, on this day, I, I still think I live in heaven right now. You know, I'm in heaven right now.